My name is Tanika Islam, and I'm going to be a sophomore this fall at City College. Before I, well, I want, I really want to begin by congratulating every single one of you on your anniversary reunion. As a current City College student, it truly is an honor to be able to follow in the footsteps of such a distinguished group of alumni. The success that you all have achieved is living proof that going to City College does open up many wonderful doors. I know that many of you here today have chosen to celebrate your reunion and the exceptional education you've received at City College by raising funds and assisting a new generation of City College students. I'm here today to personally thank you for your kind generosity and to tell you that your support makes a remarkable difference in the lives of many students, myself included. I immigrated to this country with my parents and brother from Bangladesh when I was six years old. Within months, I was in the public school system and I found myself flourishing academically. However, this newfound academic success was a shock to me. Just a year earlier, well, not just a year earlier, but back then, I was sitting in a classroom in Bangladesh, my head hidden behind a book, crying my eyes red because I honestly did not understand anything that was going on, and I was extremely terrified of being called on. But here in the States, I loved school, and I couldn't get enough of it, and did end up graduating from elementary school as valedictorian. I graduated top of my class once again in middle school and went on to study at Stuyvesant High School. However, while I was publicly known for my drive and academic success, very few people were aware of the broken and dysfunctional home that I was coming from every day. My parents coexisted in an abusive relationship. My father could hardly hold down a job that, combined with his addiction to gambling, resulted in very little money in the very little money in the house growing up and regular eviction notices. I grew up couch surfing. I often joke that I'm a true New Yorker for having lived in every borough in the city, with the proud exception of Staten Island. But these jokes aside, all these issues that were building up throughout my childhood imploded upon me when I entered Stuyvesant. When I was a sophomore, to help her escape her ailing marriage, I had to aid my brother and my mother in permanently relocating to Bangladesh. Junior year of high school, like clockwork, my father and I were served with another eviction notice, assuring me that he only needed two weeks to put another living situation together. I took a residency on my friend's couch. Those two weeks turned to two months, and I realized that this time around, I had to take up complete responsibility for myself. Before junior year was over, I was fully financially independent from my parents and supporting myself as a waitress. For me, senior year turned into a balancing act. I had the usual responsibilities of school, grades, and college applications. But I also had to work and pay rent and keep up with bills. Nevertheless, the addition of these new heavy responsibilities was not the most challenging part of my newfound autonomy. The most difficult truth I had to face was that I could not afford college. So pretty much for all Stuyvesant graduates, a college education is a given. For me, um, college to make a dramatic dream, I promise honest claim, claim. These scholarships, your donations, have given me a new lease on life. Currently, my tuition is covered for the next four years. Without worries like having to take a semester off to gather tuition money, I have been able to wholeheartedly immerse myself in my studies. These scholarships have also alleviated a large portion of my dorming costs and have subsequently given me a of my heart a stable home really I've had in this community, for my education, for my home, and for helping me be the best that I have ever been. I would not have been able to come this far without your help. But even more importantly, I want to thank you all for inspiring me to give back. By being helped when I was at my rock bottom, I gained a very personal understanding of the impact of giving. I've come to believe that when you aid someone, 
not only do you change the life, the life of that individual, but you start a chain reaction of charitable acts. Currently, when I'm not in class or working, I volunteer with Cuban Citizenship Now. And this summer, I'm interning for immigration and domestic violence lawyers at a nonprofit uptown. In the future, I hope to take my education and shape policy decision as a public service lawyer and ultimately affect change in social justice issues in New York City, including bringing about education, um, equal education access. And on that note, um, I want to wish everyone a fantastic remainder of the night, and thank you so much.